This video is all about the heart, circulatory system and blood. We will look at the structure of the human heart and how it works, the different types of blood vessel in the circulatory system and also the different components of the blood and the role each of these has. We will start off with a look at the heart then. The first thing we see is that it's made up of four chambers with a divide down the middle between the left and right sides. Remember that on a diagram the left hand side of a diagram is the right hand side of a heart. On both sides of the heart, blood enters in through a vein into an atrium, is squeezed down through a valve into a ventricle underneath before the heart contracts again to push the blood up and out through an artery. The septum down the middle of the heart stops blood from the right and left sides from mixing. This is important because the left side contains blood full of oxygen while the right side has blood with very little oxygen in it. Let's look at the full route that blood is taking through this system then. So blood enters the right atrium and it's come from the body in through the vena cava which means the main vein. It's very low in oxygen. It leaves the right ventricle through the pulmonary artery on its way to the lungs to pick up oxygen. It returns from the lungs through the pulmonary vein and enters the left atrium. It then leaves the left ventricle through the aorta or main artery full of oxygen and on its way back around the rest of the body. Because the left side of the heart has to pump blood much further than the right side, it has a thicker muscle wall, which is why it feels like the heart is on the left hand side of your chest. The four valves you can see in the heart make sure that the blood keep going in the correct direction. And it's these valves shutting after a heart contraction that creates the dum dum of a heartbeat. There are three types of blood vessel that make up the circulatory system. Arteries carry blood away from the heart and therefore the blood in them is under really high pressure. To cope, they need a thick elastic wall. Veins bring the blood back into the heart under much less pressure so the walls are thinner and less elastic. Veins also have valves to keep the blood flowing in the correct direction. The third type of blood vessel are capillaries. These are tiny thin tubes with walls only a single cell thick and they connect arteries to veins. These thin walls are important so that stuff like oxygen, glucose and carbon dioxide can move in and out of the blood as it goes through the capillaries. Blood itself is made up mainly of plasma but also different types of cell. Plasma is liquid and is important as it has many substances that the blood transports dissolve straight into that plasma to be carried around. These include glucose, carbon dioxide and urea which is a waste product. Oxygen is carried in red blood cells which look like this. These red blood cells are very small so they can fit through the tightest capillaries and to save space and enable them to carry more oxygen they have no nucleus. White blood cells come in lots of different shapes and sizes but they all have a nucleus and they're there to fight off infection from bacteria or viruses. Platelets are bits of old broken down cells carried by the plasma. When you cut yourself, these platelets join together to make a solid barrier, a blood clot, which stops pathogens from entering the body, reducing the amount of blood lost before a scab can form.